Hi! Oh my gosh, I realize I haven't filmed a video in a very long time. I'm almost done with my first year of med school. Like what? How did that happen? Anyways, <laughs> if you guys are new, my name is Monica and I'm a first year medical student. I guess not for long, but first year medical student uh, in Washington, D.C. And welcome so i know i haven't filmed in a really long time but i have been thinking about getting back into youtube since literally the first day of med school and i feel like so much has happened in med school where i feel like i want to document it i want to tell you guys about it i want to give advice i want to tell you everything i've learned all the mistakes i've made um and things that have gone well just so that i can like put it in one place long story short i've been meaning to get back into youtube for a long time and here we are so today, I'm going to start off with um, a week in the life of a med student. It's Sunday, so I'm just gearing up for the first day of block four tomorrow. And block four, we're covering GI. So block three was um, heart, lungs, kidneys. And block four is going to be all about our digestive system. And this week looks a little rough. Let me show you guys. Here is what my schedule looks like. All the orange you see is like pre-filled stuff. So that's all of the lectures. All the blue stuff is self-study that I need to do. Um, the other, like the light blue is pre-studying or studying, reviewing. The purplish blue is um, other stuff, extracurriculars. Uh, this stuff is kind of trying to start step studying. And then all the red stuff is um, social stuff. But yeah, days are long. So today is Monday, April 4th, and it's about 9.40 a.m. I woke up a little early today, and today we have a busy day in front of us. I have straight up so many classes today and things to prepare for tomorrow's class and then things to review for class today. Um, but it's going to be a fun, productive day. Um, I already had like my morning cup of green tea and now I'm making some oatmeal. Here we have some oatmeal. I topped it with some granola and some coconut flakes and then we got our coffee. Now we're going to be going through about four-ish hours of lectures. So I got my sustenance, I got my coffee. Let's go. Water not nerves do uh, uh, control, can control these plexes. If they were severed, you would still have local control of my enteric and sub update time it's about 12 30 um and i've just been doing a whole bunch of lectures but it's time to eat some lunch so i'm just gonna make myself a quick caprese sandwich and then get back to my lectures but let's make lunch don't understand how it's already 3 30. i have literally been sitting at my desk all day today um everything hurts <laughs> my entire body hurts from just like sitting um also because i worked out yesterday for the first time in like 10 days but we're doing well we made a lot of progress um now i'm gonna take a little bit of a break 
um, and clean some dishes and then I actually have been meaning to do this since med school started and of course it makes sense that in the last few months of med school I'm gonna finally do it but I need to put up my whiteboard on my wall right here so this is my desk area and I think this would be a good place to kind of put this up um, so yeah, that's going to be the project for today. I'm actually going to go get some command strips and we're going to put up this over here. Hi, so I have acquired the goods, aka command strips. So now we're going to go try to hang up this little sucker. Let's do this. Alright, so here is what the entire desk setup looks like. For those of you wondering, this little charging station I got from Amazon and I linked it below. Um, so you guys should definitely, definitely check it out if you want a more simpler solution than like a hundred bajillion wires. Alright, so it's about 7.06 p.m. Um, and I think I'm gonna try to eke out just about 30 more minutes of work and then I'm actually about to see a friend of mine for a walk around DC, um, like closer to 8 p.m. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the rest of my evening. Uh, thank you for joining me on day one of A Week in the Life of a Med Student um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Welcome to uh, Tuesday. I filmed a few clips from this morning and then I just completely forgot to film anything because I've just been sitting on my desk pretty much all day either studying or eating. <laughs> so it's currently 2 53 p.m. so like 3 p.m. and like I said I just woke up this morning and kind of got right down to studying. I like showered, got ready, um, got my breakfast together, I made my green smoothie which makes me happy um and then i've just been sitting here trying to go through my to-do list and my goal is to track my goal is to cross out every single thing on my 13 thing to-do list so that's our goal for today so yeah today's plan is um just to get through a whole bunch of lectures i have to go through a lot of anatomy today because we have a really big like anatomy um lecture uh for today and then i also have lab tomorrow and the day after so i want to make sure that i prep for that because once we go into lab you know we do dissections and everything so it's good in the moment to kind of know what's going on otherwise you could you're, you're like you don't know what you're looking for everything looks so different in a human body versus like some of the images that you'll see online you know nothing's color coded nothing's like blue for veins and red for arteries you know it's all um just there <laughs> and you kind of have to like know what's going on so that you get the most out of the experience so that's my big goal for today as well. The other thing that I have going on today is that I have a class that I'm a part of. It's like a 13 week course. It's called Mind Body Medicine. Um, and it was one of the reasons why I actually really wanted to come to my school in particular because they offered something like that. Um, but it's a 13 week course. It's two hours every single week, which is a lot, especially for med school. It's a huge time commitment, but the class is just incredible. You know, it's like a group of us and we get together and we talk about mindfulness tactics and um, techniques and we learn meditations and we do meditations um, and we just, I don't know, talk about all of like the holistic aspects of health that sometimes get lost when you're doing, you know, like 
800 lectures a day and you get you know so much of the hard sciences thrown at you and then you forget that you know you're here to kind of care for a whole person and that whole person also includes you so i love going to a class i love everyone in my group it's just a really really kind of special time i'm gonna be so sad when it ends um but so i have that happening from 6 to 8 p.m today and then i have just like a few extracurricular things um that are going on so i i'm part of an interest group on campus and i'm on their like leadership team board whatever um so i have a few things that i need to do i have a meeting for that and then i have um something that i need to submit so it's a really busy day and tomorrow is actually going to be even busier i am actually going into the clinic so i get to do ambulatory care and ambulatory care is essentially when um we get to shadow um a physician um and so we got to pick a physician we got to pick the specialty and all of that and i got my first pick it's neuro ophthalmology and it's so cool i have learned so much from being in clinic and there's something about seeing something in action like a concept or a medication or a procedure something that just like makes it stick so much more than like me doodling on my whiteboard so I have that from 8 to 12 tomorrow and then I have lab from 1 to 5. So it's going to be a long day tomorrow, but the only way to get through long days is to prepare and prepare and plan in advance. Um, and so that's my goal for today. Um, but yeah, I am going to go get further into my lectures um, and hopefully cross off a few more things before I take another break in a few hours. time today is wednesday yes wednesday april something it's been an incredibly busy day i so it's about 5 p.m in the afternoon the evening and oh my gosh you guys i had such a long day today so today in the morning i had my ambulatory care i had mine this morning from 8 a.m to noon i was in our new 12 30 actually i was in that clinic i we saw oh my gosh we saw so many patients we saw so many like interesting cases as well and like things that i hadn't really like heard about um or had like known as much about um and so that was really really cool and it was good that it was so busy because we were just were constantly seeing people and it's really like interesting because as a med student you know you're not really like doing anything you're kind of just there listening and learning and i love my preceptor because he explains a lot of things to me and he always takes the time to like um explain what's going on or answer my questions but it's really cool to like see how patients interact with you you know some people like know um more about medical students and so they'll ask you questions and some people will just like treat you the same as a doctor and they'll always be like thank you for your time and i'm like i did nothing i was just here <laughs> thank you um for letting me be here uh so yeah it was a really good experience but then at one i actually had anatomy lab um and we kind of dissected um like the abdominal area um so we're learning the gi unit this block and so we got to like dissect um kind of like the the abdomen i'm like not even showing you but like the abdomen portion um and that was really 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 interesting um and you know i've been going a little hard with school the last few days and it's been so kind of cool to see it pay off because i feel like i understood structures better i could like i knew what i was looking for um and even with the things that i didn't know it was easier to pick up um so it's always like a good reminder that hard work definitely pays off um like i don't think i could do these like eight hour days every single day of this block like that's just it's not sustainable but um it's been interesting to kind of see how the effort correlates to your understanding and how much all of that stuff pays off but long story short it's like 5 p.m i had lab from like 1 to 4 4 30 um and i just got home um and i also had to like change in the middle because for clinic or for the hospital i had to wear like professional clothing and my white coat that you can see in the background um and then i had to change like midway into scrubs for my anatomy lab um but 
the day is done. It's been a long day. I missed my lectures this morning because I have to go into clinic. Um, but I'm going to take a shower. That's number one, taking a shower. After anatomy lab, I kind of just like need to cleanse myself of all of that. Um, so I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to go over to a friend's place uh, and we're going to do dinner. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the night preparing for our first catching up on all lectures I missed this morning and then preparing for lab tomorrow because I have lab again tomorrow and I'd like to be equally prepared because it just makes the entire experience so much better you're just less confused you're less like oh my gosh what am I even looking at it just helps um all right I talked a lot uh but I will see you guys later hi good morning so today is friday i kind of failed at vlogging yesterday because my day was just like kind of all over the place and then i had to go into anatomy lab in the afternoon and so that took like a whole bunch of time but all right we're back we're back um so today's friday it's about nine something in the morning uh, i'm going for a walk because i need a walk this morning and i just need to like clear my head because there's just been so much going on um and i also have an exciting weekend planned kind of um i am going to shenandoah so i'm in washington dc and shenandoah is like a national park area in virginia so it's about a two hour drive from here um, so we booked a house and we're gonna go um, and spend the entire weekend there and it's gonna be really nice and relaxing and hopefully beautiful and the weather has been really gloomy the last few days but today it cleared up and it's like sunny and beautiful and the sky is just blue um, so one that's why I'm going for a walk and two I'm hoping this carries over into Shenandoah um, and I'll I'll maybe like vlog some clips from there too because I know it's gonna be pretty and nice and will be a nice way to kind of like end this week in a life of a med student vlog. Um, but yeah, let's go on a walk. Today is Sunday, April something. Um, I think the last clip I filmed was on Friday. And I was telling you guys I was going on a weekend trip to the mountains, to Shenandoah, which is like this national park uh, in Virginia. And I just got back. I know I was supposed to like film a few clips and I do have some clips that I like, like put it in before. So if you saw those clips, awesome. If not, sorry. Um, but I didn't really get to like vlog too much when I was on this trip. I just kind of wanted to disconnect and uh, enjoy, you know, like the day and a half that I was there or two days that I was there um, and It was a really nice trip. I'm so glad I went um, But I'm really excited to be back. It's Sunday and it's like 12. No, it's 3 p.m. 12. Where is my head? It's 3 p.m. Um, I just finished kind of unpacking and getting my life together and now I just have to sit down. I have a few um, I have one meeting tonight, but mostly I just need to catch up on a lot of lectures and I just kind of wanted to end this vlog I know this is like a little bit all over the place, but I wanted to um, Film something this week, you know I feel like I did a lot of stuff and a lot of school and I tried to give a little bit of a glimpse of life behind the scenes for a med student um, So I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you want more vlogs of my week or even what my days look like um, You know definitely leave a comment below or like this video that lets me know what I should be putting out what I should be filming So that's all very helpful um, And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. So actually before I go quick plug if you like any of my videos if you've liked any of my previous videos um, definitely subscribe to this channel I'm going to be posting a lot more videos in the future just kind of documenting my life in med school oh my gosh the lighting is changing because it's becoming sunnier we love that um, but yeah I'll be posting a lot more content so just keep a lookout for that definitely subscribe to this channel uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Talk to me.